I call myself an alpha woman. I'm strong. I'm fearless. I am courageous. I am. I'm a good daughter. I'm a visionary. I set the pace for others. My name is Nadi Mirabel Noma. Um, from Minu State. I'm based here in Delta State. Ugeli precisely. I'm 30 years. I'm a BSc older accountant, University of Virginia. Basically, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm into sales of fabrics and uh, mostly fashion designer. My name is Aminat Abeni Olale. I'm 24 years of age. I'm a graduate of Mushud Abdullah Polytechnic. And I'm currently serving in Bayesa State. Sagbamaluka government to be precise. What inspires me mostly is the fact that I'm a lady. I believe as a lady, I have all the opportunities for me to do things. That would marvel, and people were like, wow, she's a lady and she's able to do this. So when I think about that, I just, it inspires me to want to do most things that I do. Then again, my quest for knowledge, my quest for being informed and uh, not um, being abstract like because of my environment and I'm restricted to information. So. I do everything I can to stay afloat with whatever is going on around me. Well, things that, that inspires me, mainly, it's, it's my appearance. That is just it. What people think you cannot do, then you prove them wrong. That alone inspires me to go with them. My disability is not allowing me, I will not allow me lose focus or make myself look entirely different just like how people want me to see myself. No, I have to prove them wrong now. I am different. I am a minute. I came in contact with um, Diggy Girls um, uh, Foundation through Facebook on Popolo 9 community on Facebook. Yeah, there was uh, an update about it. So I applied and here I am. I want to know more and um, advanced knowledge on a digital marketing. At the end of the training session, I intend to transform my skills to girls around me to equip them digitally because there are a lot of people looking for this kind of opportunity that I found right now. With the knowledge I'm getting from this uh, program, I intend to teach others, young girls, secondary school, girls, SSC holders as well, organize an online training so I can impact also what I've been able to learn from this program onto them. I would like to also impact also on um, the girls around the community, through schools, through churches. My experience so far, I could remember at the beginning of the program when I was added to the group on the WhatsApp platform, and you notice the coordination, like the willingness to learn and all the cooperation. The program has been also usually we our virtual classes are always power packed and I'm glad that they always send us material ahead of time for us to prepare for the next class. So most times I'm always awake at midnight waiting for my mail to come, mail that conveys um, the class for the next day. So I quickly run through the class. Then in class, I've met a few friends. Uh, maybe when I'm, I miss classes, I, I think I, I can private chat most of them to, you know, to be heads up of what happened while I was away and all that. And they've been awesome. Our coordinator has been a very nice lady. She's polite. She's always ready to help. Even when we keep asking the same questions over and over again, they've been very good. It's, it's been a very awesome time we had. Challenge is when it's just electricity here yeah, and later at times. I subscribe to YouTube Night Spark, Night Plan that I use after the day activity. The digital world, I want to be able to find a fit as a lady there and, you know, build my own. Uh, Space and also create an environment where ladies, women, girls can feel okay. We have a place in this world as well. In few years' time, I see myself equipping girls digitally, serving as a source of inspiration and motivation to 
to them, especially the less privileged and the people living with physical disabilities, that this stage I have, they also can do it if they are determined, um, they are relentless, motivated to become what they want, then they can definitely achieve whatsoever they are.